so I'm replacing the starter motor down here on my T4. The reason I'm doing this is because it's intermittently not starting, so I was stranded this morning, had to get a taxi to work. Um, but first of all, with anything like this, what I'm going to do first is check the battery's good. So I've got a multimeter, multimeter here, you want to set it to 20 volts. Basically the next one up above what you're testing, we're testing for 12 volts. So we want this on 20. We need to get the negative, touching the negative terminal on the battery. And then we need to get the positive, touch that on the positive. And we can see we've got a solid 12 and a half volts coming from the battery. So we know it's not a power issue. So we can rule out that battery being the problem. And uh, when I was turning my key, it was trying to crank, but just getting stuck. So I know that it's trying to do something, it can't do it, so I'm going to replace the starter motor. So the first thing you want to do with this is remove the negative and the positive from the battery. So that's completely isolated. And on a T4, we need to remove this air box first so I can get good access to the, um, to the nut down there and down there. Now we've got good access to these nuts here. Right, so now that's done, we can move on to the motor itself. This is held in by three bolts. One is down there. These are 13 mil bolts. One is just down there. Um, and the other two are best accessed actually from underneath. 13 mil bolt there and another 13 mil bolt there. This is also holding this bracket on. So make sure you include that bracket when you refit the new motor. So you need to loosen these three, this, this, and the one at the top. And then the only other thing to do is to take off two wires. There's a positive and a negative, I believe. Um, one of them is here. This is another 13 mil bolt. That's a negative, which goes all the way back here to the battery. And then there is just a clip for the other one. It should be able to pull out. Oh. <laughs> I'll try doing it from the top. That's the positive. So now I've removed both the negative and the positive wire, I can move on to removing these three 13 millimeter bolts. This could fall down now. This bolt I'm taking out is the last one holding it in. So I'm just gonna put some a little bit soft here for it to land on. There we go. That's just fallen out and I've caught it. Oh, and I've dropped it. <laughs> there we go. So, that's what it looks like. That's the part number on mine, but you want to check your own part numbers, of course. And the previous owner described this as being brand new a year ago, but I think it might have been nearly new. So, nice shiny new motor. All I need to do now is, um, I'm going to crawl under the van, try and get this lined up, slotted in place, and then bolted in. And then I just need to connect the negative and the positive, and then we can fire it up, give it a test. Thank you. 
Okay, so I've done up the three bolts. I've reconnected the positive and negative wires and I've reconnected the battery. So now it's the moment of truth. I am a little bit nervous about this. Put it in neutral. Cycle the glow plugs. And here we go.